the week of March 9th was when the coronavirus and the craziness of this, this outside world now became real for me, as I'm sure it did for countless others. On Tuesday, I found out through Instagram message that the talk I was scheduled to give in LA at the Best U Expo was canceled. Right? I'd put up an ad saying, hey, come join me at this talk. Uh, it's going to help a lot of people. It's going to be fun. Uh, and the organizers DM me saying, oh, it's actually canceled. So up until that point, I was a bit in denial about what was going on, just going to grind at my own way. Um, but yet this made it real for me. And it was upsetting because I was super excited for this talk. This was at the Best You Expo. So it was at a platform um, where I was going to be giving a talk about how to you know, take your passion and make it something you can profit from, how to be the best you in any scenario. And I was going to be on stage with people like Les Brown, with people uh, in the audience who really wanted to improve their lives. So it was something that just felt right. It felt good. And I was excited to do it. I was going to use it to launch my new coaching course. Um, and that was going to be my next month. It was all built up into this talk. But yet, with one Instagram message, I had to change up my entire plans. This, this put me into a bit of a downward spiral, right? I hadn't... I had been denying and, and plowing forward in the way that I knew how and knew would work until it wouldn't work anymore. And so I realized that you know this, this outside world, it might affect me, it might hurt me, it might hurt my business and it might hurt those around me. Um, and I was a bit uncertain on what to do. So I followed my process and had a conversation with two of my mentors. And th these conversations really shifted my paradigm on how, how to be thinking right now, how to be how to represent myself and, and what I need to do to not only get through this, but thrive through it and thrive through the rest of life. The first conversation was specifically about business and how all of this external noise might affect our business and how we can be forces to, to cut through it and, and be help and, be, and best serve in this scenario. So the discussion was around how to externally interface with the world right now and really speak to what, what people need and how we can help. So it came down to the framework of having three choices as to how you can be and what you can do uh, regarding what's going on. Number one is ignore it. Ignore all the external inputs, keep grinding at what you were doing, and just uh, be even more head down than you used to be, right? So that's option one, is completely ignore it and, and denying. Number two is accepting it. Accepting that this whole coronavirus thing is changing the world, that it might hurt you, it might hurt those around you, it might hurt your business, and you know, you're going to live with it. Number three is embrace it. Embrace everything that's going on around you. Find the good in what's going on around you. Find the good that might happen because of this, and embrace the best inside you. Bring out the best inside you so that others around you see it and they follow suit. In the second conversation, it was more along the lines of the internal discussion that was going on. So rather than inter uh, externally interfacing with the world, sort of how to, how to best think about this internal paradigm that we all got inside of our heads. The talk was about how, you know, like it or not, the world around us is changing. Because of this, because of what we're hearing, the collective energy among the entire universe and all individuals is going down. It's gone down in the past couple weeks into rather than, you know, states of happiness, abundance into states of fear, stress, survival. And that, you know, like it or not, that's what's happening. So based on this, again, we have three decisions as to how, how we can be within this craziness around us. Number one is letting ourselves drop down with the energy around us, letting ourselves take in all these external inputs, let, letting those external inputs dictate how, how we be, dictate how we think, dictate our reactions, be very reactive, and you know, bring our states down to that of fear, stress, and survival. Number two is maintaining the mentality you had before. So blocking it all out and continue to do what you're doing regardless of what's going on around you. Number three, is we accept what's going on and raise our energy. We embrace what's going on around us. We raise our energy so that others around us see what we're doing, see who, who we're being, and follow suit, right? This is the time to claim the best inside you better than before and really be that, that greatest version of yourself you can be, navigate the situation with as much gratitude and grace as you can. And as a result, others will be better just by you being better. 
These two conversations really were the kick that I needed to embrace with the highest energy and bring out the best, the best that I've got inside myself. With what's going on, with all these headlines that we're hearing, I believe that a few things I've heard are just not good enough, right? Being just okay, something I've heard, is not nearly ambitious enough. I don't think just surviving is the mindset that sets us up for the best outcome. And I don't think that just getting through it is good enough because just getting through anything in life isn't good enough, right? This is a natural part of life. It's uncertainty. Something like this is going to happen again. So why just get through this now when we can thrive through it, thrive after, thrive into the future? Now more than ever, I truly believe that it's time to stop doing what you should do and do what you want to do. Time to trust your intuition, figure out what you really want out of this life and get after it. And through the whole process of everything, really live with that vibrancy, that vitality and that passion because it's just better that way. With so much change going on in the world around us and inside us, now is the time to embrace it and make the best of it. You know, maybe with all this change in your routines, maybe you can take advantage of the pattern interrupt and really start some stacks, some really good behaviors that are gonna make you better now and into the future. Maybe instead of that commute, instead of the partying time spent, you spent all this time on a passion project, on writing that book, on doing something that, that helps others now and as a byproduct helps you too. Maybe you start to prioritize your health and fitness, your mindset, these things that are actually really important because you do have the uh, forced isolation to block out all the distractions and centralize these fundamental aspects of life. So I've had to readjust the model that I live by. I live by a model called stack and flow. So stacking these future experiences in the present so you can later deploy them towards that better future. And then flowing in the present to enjoy the present to the fullest extent and, and really be there for that present moment. During these times of uncertainty, I've really had to swing the pendulum to the flowing because our mindsets, our plans, they're gonna get challenged more than ever. So I'm gonna keep stacking, but I'm gonna lean heavily on flowing and being in that present moment, centralizing really everything that's important to me and putting up that force field to really only let in the good inputs and bring out to the world what I need to. One of the ways that I've come to realize that I can best serve others is by challenging deep assumptions, extracting the things that are limiting, and neutralizing those beliefs and reinstalling something better that's gonna to lead to growth. Really putting forth those next steps that's gonna to lead to the greatest progress. So in this time, I wanted to do the best that I possibly could do to serve those around me, help those around me, help friends, help family, help my clients. And so what I've done is I've put together a guide um, that's really the best I've got, the things that have helped me help my clients navigate through times of deep uncertainty. This is uncertainty in business, uncertainty in life, relationships. It's been the, you know, these tools and tactics that have helped me not only get through, but thrive through and come out better on the other side. So this thing, this guide, it's entirely personal. It's entirely based on experiments and what I know, but it's helped me and I hope it helps you guys. So if you're interested, if you think that this, there might be any insight that could help you break through, help you uh, feel better in this time where that's really what we all need to do, then comment below, write the word embrace, big capital letters, embrace, because that's what we all got to do right now. So in the meantime, remember, don't be hard on yourself, flow smoothly through it all, and keep getting after what it is that you really want. Don't let anything stop you from that. And while you're doing it, live with vibrance, vitality, and passion.